Hello everyone I am Harsh and today we are going to learn how to handle window loaded and closing event using event trigger Ensuring our application can manage unsaved changes and close gracefully. For this, we will use delegate command in our view model and bind it to the windows loaded and closing event. Then we will implement file saving and reopening functionality similar to Notepad++ using protobuf.net. This will help in managing our file efficiently and keep track of the data seamlessly. So now without wasting the time, let's get started. Okay, first we will see how to bind the loaded and closing event to the command. So how to do that? We can use this behavior like i colon interaction dot trigger and then we will use i colon event trigger. Okay, and here I will provide the event name. So I will say event name which is loaded. Okay, and then we will bind to the command. So how to bind that? We will use i invoke command action. Okay, and then command then binding then I will say loaded command okay and now i will close it okay this is how we can do for closing event as well okay so i will copy it and here i will say closing okay and and here i will say closing command this error here okay this i have to keep inside this trigger itself so i will remove it now i will add the command for loaded and closing event inside the main view model okay now let's add the command i will copy the same name from here and closing command okay now here i will initialize this command and will call the method for this event so here i will say on load okay and here i am not going to pass any parameter so i will remove this parameter from here as well as from here okay and here i will say closing now let's create the method okay now let's run and see if this command is working or not let's run this application you can see application is loaded that's why this on load method is executed because we have binded loaded event to loaded command right and here we are passing on load method that's why this on load method called here okay now let's close this application and you can see this closing method is called right because we have binded this closing command to the closing event right this is how we can bind the command to the load and closing event okay now let's stop it now we will save all the file which is opened here during the closing event so for that as you see here this is the tab control where we are opening our file right so we will use this region manager and we'll take all the tab item here okay tab items using this region manager dot regions and here i will provide this key okay which is content region okay and then i will say views okay here we got all the open tab okay now we will iterate through this tab and and we'll get the file name file path and file content because we want to save this all data to some file so that whenever we open the file it should open with the same data okay so what we can do here we can say tab content equal to tab h framework element because i want to get the data context in the data context we will get all the detail right and what is the type of data context which is i file model okay now we got the data context for this view and now i will create the object here and here will create object of file model okay file model or here we can say open file model okay so this model i will create here okay here i will create one folder and i will say models okay and inside this folder i will create the model new class open file model okay and i will make it public so that we can access it i will remove all unused namespace and here i will create the property name path not extension here i will say content okay and also will create one property of type boolean and here i will say is saved okay okay now this value we can assign from here i will add the namespace for this and now i will say name equal to tab content dot file name path equal to tab content dot file path and then i will say is saved equal to i will check if file is exist or not if file exist then it means it is already saved 
dot exists okay and now here i will say file details dot content equal to if it is saved means file details file detail dot is saved then we will not save the content to the file okay so we'll just say empty and if it is not saved then we will save the content of this tab item okay dot file content okay so in this way we can get all the detail and we can create one object where we will get this data name path and the content and we want to save to some file so that whenever we open the application again then it will open the existing open file okay so for that this we have to save so if we save it then we have to convert it to a string and save to the file and and if we want to revert from that file it is very difficult to get the data because we will save as a string so for that purpose we will use serialization and here i will use protobuf to serialize the data so that we will save our content as object and we can retrieve the content from the file as object and we can show the data means we can open all the existing open file okay so for that i will use protobuf so what you can do here add the reference for protobuf right click on dependency and and select manage nuket package okay go to browse tab and search for protobuf.net okay and install it i will click on install okay click on apply okay you can see it is installed now okay so i will close it and now go to this so to save this file or to serialize this object to the file we have to add some attribute because protobuf require that to serialize any object to the file what are those so here we have to use proto proto contract okay we have to keep inside square bracket okay and now let's add the name space for this proto contact attribute and for all the member we have to add the attribute proto member like this and here we have to specify the number this is first field then second field i will say two here and three here and four here okay now as we want to save multiple file right because if we open multiple file so we have to save all those things so that whenever we open again then it should open all the file so for that i will create one more auto contact here i will say public class and i will say open file model list okay and here i will create the object of type when file model and this i will say open file open file model list okay here the name space for this and create the object here itself okay now i will create the object of open file list here here i will say where open file list equal to new okay and now we will add all the file detail to this okay now it's time to serialize this to some file so here i will create one constant a string will say file name equal to open file list dot bin okay here we have to use dot bin to serialize the object to the file okay so now here i will create the file using where file equal to file dot create file name and then i will use serializer at the name space dot serialize okay file and this file list object okay now let's run now let's add some tab here let's open some file i will open this now you can see three files are there right two are not saved one is already saved okay now if you close this then it will save it to the open file list dot bin file okay let's close it now it will save and here we are getting exception because we have not added here proto contact to this class okay let's rerun it let's add some file here let's open one file okay now let's close it continue it will save to the file let's see the file you can see this file let's open it you can see right content here only the file path is saved okay now we want to open all this file on the restart of our application okay so for that we have to write the logic inside the onloaded method okay so what we can do here here we will use serializer dot deserialize okay deserialize and here we will pass open file list and here we will pass the file name okay before that we have to open the file first so we'll use where file equal to file dot open read okay and here i will say this name which is file name okay inside this we will deserialize this one and before that also we have to check if file exist or not okay i will check file dot exist and this file name okay if exist then only we can open otherwise it will throw the exception now we have to store this value to one one variable open file 
list okay now we can iterate through all the detail from this file list and we can open the file okay we will say we will create one method and from there we will open file open existing open files okay and here i will pass this open file list and now let's create the method and here i will iterate through this open file list dot open file list okay and now we have to navigate to the tab item right so for that we have to use first let's create the file detail object new file model and here i will assign all the value file name equal to item dot name file content equal to file Path. file path equal to item dot path okay navigate to this file okay for that we have to again use the region manager region manager dot navigate and then here we have to pass here we have to pass a region name which is content region and the view name which is text editor view okay where is that we will copy from there and then here we have to pass the parameter for that file or for that tab so for that we will create parameter equal to new navigation parameter okay and then to this parameter i will add this file detail okay and again file details and this i will pass in a string okay so this will be the parameter name and this will be the value okay now let's run it you can see here the file are opened right but you can see the content is not opened for this saved file now let's see what is the issue here so here we are checking each saved if it is not saved if it is saved okay we are not saving anything okay okay here we have to change this file content and here we have to check if file exists or we can say like this item dot is saved if it is saved if this file is already saved then what we can do we can read the file using file dot read all text and then file path which is item dot path otherwise we'll take the content from this realized file okay now let's run and see you can see the content is here right this is how we can open the existing open file i hope you learn how to bind the command for loaded event and closing event and also you have learned how to open the existing open file on the application restart that's all for this video if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends